yes people how's it going welcome back to lily white lane hope you're doing good hope you're keeping well and you are very welcome along to your match preview for tottenham hotspurs game as the boys are set to take on liverpool an on form liverpool side which are absolutely on fire at the minute tomorrow afternoon with a 4 30 kickoff at home and look I am buzzing for this game, considering when we haven't seen Spurs in two weeks, I am really looking forward to it. Now, look, as much as I want to make this match preview and really hype this game up, I still believe there's a good chance that it does go ahead tomorrow, but you can't rule out the possibility that it does get cancelled, whether that be last minute or today, you know. We saw it with the Aston Villa Burnley game, they went down right to the last minute to two hours before the game today to cancel it, which shows once again that the Premier League couldn't care less about fans who are travelling or whatever from different countries and different places on the planet or in England. So look, there is a chance that this game doesn't go ahead tomorrow, but I think when you assess the situation and the COVID cases in both teams, Liverpool have only got three or four, they should be okay to play. All our COVID cases, every single one of our players, I believe who had COVID, no longer has it. Now look, this game should go ahead based on that situation, unless the Premier League decide to lock stuff down today, which I don't think they will, considering it is game day with Arsenal versus Leeds, and there's games that can go ahead tomorrow. And it's money for them. But look, massive game. Massive game. When you take away the COVID situation, this is absolutely huge. Our last you know, game that we did play two weeks ago was against Norwich. We won it 3-0, but you've got to look at this game as... Will Tottenham come into this game rusty or will we come into this game refreshed? You know, how are we going to look in this game? And it's definitely going to be very, very interesting because you think, is it a good thing that these players haven't played in two weeks? Because none of them really have any form. But at the same time, Liverpool, play, you know, played on Thursday. They played the weekend before. They've been really having to grind out results, tough results against the likes of Newcastle midweek and Aston Villa last week where their players are using up a lot of energy. So, look, we do have the fitness side of things in our favour. And you have to look at our form. Although we've had, you know, people will look at the Premier League table and go, Spurs 7th, OK, they're not doing brilliant. We're doing so much better than where we are in the league. You've got to think we've had three games postponed. Three games postponed. And if we win tomorrow, we go 6th. If we win all three games in hand, we go straight into the top four. And if we win tomorrow with those three games in hand... We can challenge for the Premier League title. I know that sounds ridiculous. And the chances of winning tomorrow, you know, they're not as high as games such as Leicester and Burnley and Brighton. Now, you've got to assess our games in hand as well. Leicester, Burnley and Brighton. We should be taking nine points out of nine there. If not, at least, you know, eight points or six. Six would be bad, but... We should win those games and ideally we win those games, we even get a draw or whatever tomorrow, we can go on to challenge for top four, we really can go on to challenge the likes of West Ham and Arsenal for the Champions League places this season. And look, it's definitely going to make things interesting, definitely going to make things interesting. Now look, the big question, I said it a second ago, will we be refreshed or will we be, you know, rusty? We'll only have to wait and find out tomorrow. Am I going to the game? Am I balls, right? I go to a lot of Spurs games. I do enjoy going to see my team play. That's why you, sometimes you get late reviews on here or you don't get one. You know, I love this club. But there's no way I'm going to risk my health, you know, one week before Christmas. And not only that, but I could travel up there and find out two hours before or, or, or even one hour before that the game's not on. So look, not going to this one, but... We'll be watching from home and we'll be massively looking forward to it. When it comes to results in this game, you've got to look at Liverpool's form. They are by far the best team at the minute based on form. You know, Manchester City are close, but they've lost a couple of games this season. Liverpool, I believe, they lost to West Ham and that's it. They've only lost one game this season, which is absolutely mental. Whereas City lost to us, Palace and a couple other teams. So look... City have got the form right now, but for me, Liverpool are the best team in the Premier League at the, uh, at the minute. They've got the quality, right? Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane and Diogo Jota. Deadly trio. Week in, week out. Banging in goals left, right and centre. 
And they're getting results. Sometimes they're absolutely destroying teams and sometimes they're having to grind out results. You look at their recent fixtures. 3-1 against Newcastle midweek. 1-0 against Aston Villa. The week before, I believe, they won 1-0 again with a last-minute winner against Wolves. Midweek before that, 4-1 win against Everton. 5-0 against United earlier in the season. They, you know, and this is what we always say about the top sides. Sometimes you'll have to grind out results if you want to class yourself as a big team. You're not going to absolutely destroy every single team. And they've done, they've proved they can win by all means necessary. Whether it's, you know, grinding out a 1-0 win against the Wolves or a Burnley or a team such as that. Or absolutely battering a team with a class you have up top. And that's one thing about this game. How can we beat Liverpool? Sit back counter-attack them we play them at their own game if we go for them we might get a couple goals but we will be outscored as much as I like Harry Kane and Hyung Min Son and Lucas Moore you know as much as I love that front three they are far off Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane and Diogo Jota which for me is the best front three in the world but look if we sit back and counter-attack them we can get points out of this game I really do believe we can win this game really do or at least get a draw right you know, they're missing players. Now, you know, they might have a few more missing tomorrow. We might have a few more missing tomorrow. We don't know what the current situation in the Premier League, but they're missing Fabinho and Van Dijk. Although those two aren't the big star players who make the front covers for scoring the goals, they are two of their most crucial players, if not their most crucial players. You could clearly see that goal midweek from John Joe Shelby. You know, if that was another team, they could have sat back with a quality defence such as a such, such, such as a Manchester United or a Manchester City, and got a result from that. There was no Fabinho there to challenge him. That's where Fabinho would uh, would be. The amount of times Newcastle... Newcastle could have got much more than a loss out of that game. They could have easily got a 2 wall draw or a 3-2 win. I think the scoreline flattered them. And you could see how many times... You know, of course, Liverpool were scoring the goals, but they were getting broken down without any Van Dijk at the back. Because what Van Dijk does is... He has so much composure. He leads that back line. You know, he he he, he tells the right back and left back Trent and Robertson to get forward and keeps Matic back. He's so controlling in that defence, and you could see without him, they struggled at the back. Even against the Newcastle, they struggled at the back, and we can counter attack them in this game. As I said, we play them at their own game. We get absolutely battered like a sausage down the local chip shop. But we got you know we don't go for them in this game. We counter attack them. We sit back. Now, obviously, that's going to be very hard. It's not an easy, you know, it's easier said than done, saying that Eric Dyer can deal with arguably the best player in the world at this very moment in Mohamed Salah. And Jota and Mane as well, banging in goals. But if we can sit back, if we can counter-attack them, they don't have Fabinho to hold up that midfield and get people back quickly. They don't have Van Dijk to command their defence to stay back. We can break them down. We can break down Matip and Canate. Canate's a good defender, but he hasn't got the game time this season. And if we can break them down, I really do believe we can grind out a 1-0 win. And that's why, you know, I'm not going to go for a 1-0 win, though. My score prediction, I think, as much as we try and sit back and counter-attack them in this game, we could definitely get a 2-1 win. I could see that happening, or a 1-0 win. But in an eye, you know, let's be realistic about it, 1-0. Because I think as much as we, you know, our tactics could really work. We could sit back, counter-attack and bang, 1-0. But the quality they have up top, I don't see any defence in the world stopping Mohamed Salah, Diogo Jota or Roberto Firmino. You know, they might even play him. We don't know. Firmino always turns good against Spurs. Always scored the winner, you know, last December. And basically took us out of a title race and sent all our momentum crashing through the floor out the window. So... Definitely going to be interesting, but score prediction, I'm going to go 1-0, 1-0, and I will happily take that, happily take a 1-0 draw with one of the most on-form teams in the Prem, go on to win our three games in hand, bang, we're fourth in the Premier League, Chelsea third, struggling, struggling at the minute, not picking up points, we can get past Chelsea, and then who knows, as Mr Gilbert says, but look, thank you for watching, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for your support, as I say, and hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, we will see Spurs play tomorrow. I'm glass off empty, I really don't think the game's going to happen, because that's our luck at the minute and the Premier League fans' luck. But look, 
Hopefully we see you again tomorrow. You guys have been wicked. Thank you for watching. Take care. All the best. God bless. Have a very Merry Christmas. And as always, commonly Spurs, Enoch out. In Conte, we trust. Come on, the boys.